Today, we will see some examples related to simple interest. Praveen has taken a loan of rupees 12,000 from a money lender. The rate of interest is fixed as 13% per annum. Find out how much money Praveen has to pay the money lender as simple interest after 3 years. Solution 1. Here, rupees 12,000 is borrowed, therefore the principal is 12,000 rupees. Rate of interest is 13% per year. This means if Praveen takes a loan of rupees 100, then after 1 year he has to give rupees 13 as interest to the money lender. Thus, on the loan amount of rupees 12,000, the interest for one year will be 12,000 into 13 by 100, which is equal to rupees 1,560. Therefore, simple interest for three years is 3 into 1,560, which is equal to rupees 4,680. That is, after three years, Praveen will have to pay rupees 4,680 as simple interest to the money lender. Solution 2. We can also solve this example with the help of a formula. Do you remember the formula for simple interest? Think for a while. You've got it right. The formula to calculate simple interest is I is equal to PRT by 100. Here, P is equal to the principal or 12,000 rupees. T is time, 3 years. R is the rate of interest which is equal to 13% per year. Therefore, Simple interest I is equal to 12,000 into 13 into 3 divided by 100, which is equal to rupees 4,680. That is, after 3 years, Praveen will pay rupees 4,680 as simple interest to the money lender. Next example. Kamala has deposited rupees 35,000 in a bank at 7.5% rate of interest per annum. Find the amount she will get after 9 months. This is a very interesting question. Here, we have to take care of certain conditions. The first thing is to note that the time is given in months. Therefore, it is necessary to convert it into years. Can you tell how to convert this? Think for a while. Here, we use unitary method. As we know, 12 months is equal to 1 year. Therefore, 1 month is equal to 1 by 12 year. Now, we can say that 9 months is equal to 1 by 12 into 9. That is, 9 by 12. In its simplest form, it can be written as 3 by 4 years. Let's now find the simple interest. Formula to calculate simple interest is I is equal to PRT by 100. Here, I is equal to the simple interest. Here P is equal to principal or rupees 35,000. T is equal to time or 3 by 4 years. R is equal to rate of interest which is equal to 7.5% per year which is equal to 75 by 10% per year which is equal to 15 by 2% per year. By doing so, I is equal to 35,000 into 15 by 2 into 3 by 4 by 100, which is equal to 35,000 into 15 into 3 by 2 into 4 into 100, which is equal to 1,968.75. Please note that rupees 1,968.75 is the simple interest, but in the given question, we are asked to find the amount. So the amount is equal to principal plus interest. That is, A is equal to P plus I. A is equal to rupees 35,000 plus rupees 1,968.75, which is equal to rupees 36,968.75. Thus, after 9 months, Kamala will get rupees 36,968.75 as the amount. Example 3. Ramesh has opened a student savings account in a bank and deposited rupees 2000 at 6% rate of interest per year. After how many years will the amount in his account become rupees 2360? Here, P or the principal is equal to 2000 rupees. 
R rate of interest is 6% per year. A, the amount is equal to rupees 2360 and we have to find out the time. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. Therefore, 2360 is equal to 2000 plus interest. Therefore, interest is equal to 2360 minus 2000 which is equal to rupees 360. To find the number of years in which the simple interest will become rupees 360, we need to find simple interest formula. I is equal to PRT by 100. Therefore, 360 is equal to 2000 into 6 into T divided by 100 or 360 into 100 divided by 2000 into 6 is equal to T or we can also write it as T is equal to 360 into 100 divided by 2000 into 6 years. After solving, we get T is equal to 3 years. This means time is equal to 3 years. That is, after 3 years, the amount in his account will be rupees 2360. So today, we have seen some examples related to simple interest. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to this. Thank <laughs> you.